Welcome to Year Around Blooms. Hello. Today I want to show you how I am going to winterize some of the plants that are perennial in my area, but I do not wish to plant them in the landscape in the flower beds but would rather keep them in containers. Now, when plants are in containers, they don't have too much insulation because they are just in a plastic pot and the pots tend to be quite small. So in freezing weather, they can actually die. And today I will show you how I'm trying to work around that. Today I want to tackle my containers at my front entrance. First is this beautiful mum. When I got it, it was white with light yellow centers and then the blooms faded and now they've turned pink with the cold. And even though they from afar still look beautiful, you can see that most of the flowers are quite spent and damaged with the rain. The second mum I have here is this gorgeous spoon mum with a beautiful fiery fall color and amazing shape. It reminds me of fireworks. I'm changing these out for some more holiday color as I'm going to place my Christmas wreaths and Christmas decor. These moms haven't been here long. Around them, I have some deep, rich red pansies, and I top dress the container with these pine cones. Now the moms themselves are actually in a container of their own. Here you can see the top of it. And so now all I have to do is pop up the container and I am ready to plant something more winter hardy for my area. Here it is, the plant is out and I have a nice hole ready to be planted. In the container, I did place a few tulip bulbs for spring interest. Here you can see one of the bulbs. And then on this side, you can see the roots of the pansies. Okay, I am ready to plant my hellebore, which is super hardy in my area and just enjoys winter. I love the color scheme here and this should take me all the way through winter and into spring. This second container I am planning on taking out the mums and overwintering them. In the container I will place some of these bulbs. So I have allium, Sunrise Harmony mix, yellow tulips, and some Scylla. And what do you know? I left this mum in its original container as well. So it was just sitting here on top of the soil. And here first I place the alliums, the mix of daffodils and tulips, another layer of tulips and ended with the Scylla, the purple Scylla, which I haven't had before. These are the plants that I'm planning to overwinter. So I have prepared several oversized containers and some mulch. 
here is the process in the larger pot i placed some mulch then in goes the potted plant and all i have to do now is fill in these sides with mulch and top dress it with mulch in this container i have already done so you can see the rim of the other container as i was working on this i realized i had a couple more plants that i wanted to overwinter here is another mum that i have and I just had it sitting here in its container as I wasn't sure that I wanted to commit to its location here. So I'm just going to place it right on top of this container with bulbs. Since I didn't pre-plan this, I'll just sit it on the top. I'm not going to dig a hole for it. So I just top dressed it with mulch and I believe it should do just fine. All of these plants are now ready for winter and the mulch should provide a nice layer of insulation for them. Now this is the original container from last year, so this is where I got the idea from. I had these exact mums in this container and I top dressed them with some mulch. On the sides I did have some bulbs as well. Here are all the plants that I want to overwinter. They are nicely nestled against the house wall and they're huddled quite closely together so they should keep each other warm. In addition to that, they are tucked in under these stairs. And then they do have a little bit more protection from the roof overhang. It's not very wide, it's only about two to three feet maximum, so less than a meter. And on this side, this is the northern side, I have some of more winter hardy plants. There's a hellebore, cyclamen, and spotted laurel. This is the view into my back garden from the balcony. And underneath are my newly winterized plants, nicely tucked in. I appreciate you joining me for this project.